morning guys so today's job we are putting these spar inserts inside of the tubes did one already off camera since it's been a few years since i've done this i wanted to make sure i remember how but I'll take and walk you guys through a couple tips and tricks, steps to make this job a little bit easier. So I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my channel. Around here, you want something, you gotta build it. Follow along. So the first thing, you guys need to do is find the dead center of these spars. This is real simple. If they're laying flat like this, you just take something and you slide down the top. And what that does is just leave a little scuff mark, not a scratch, but a little scuff mark, and that tells you where your center is. So that's what we'll start with. And then once we do that, I'll bring it over here to the drill press just a two by four that the cradles the spar and I'll show you guys how to drill these. I just clean these just a scotch bright pad make sure you got all the junk off them. And just wipe them down with a clean rag. You gotta do the same thing to the inside of these spars. You usually got a lip from cutting them, so you just sand it. I just use compressed air to blow them out. And then take a rag and push through there, the long stick. And once you got all that done, just take a little bit of this baby oil. It doesn't take much. And you slide them in. Take this, just a piece of plastic pipe. That's it. And I'll take a measure so it's right where it's supposed to be. And we got the spar sitting in here. We have our center marked. This line will be the outside edge of the insert. So we gotta get that transferred over. It calls for 1930 seconds. So I got this set at, just lay it on the center mark. Nice little mark, these little gel pens work quite well. And after that, I just use the insert itself, since it lays there pretty nice. Turn the spar until your line shows up on both sides. And we just mark it. This is the front edge of that insert, which is 73 and a quarter inches from the root end. To go here, we just mark 4, 8, 12, and so on, all the way to the other side. When you do this side, you go 2, and then from there you go 4, 8, 12. Now, if this is the top of the strut, you could go ahead and line it up and start drilling. But on the bottom side of the strut, which this actually is, I need to figure out 
where these go so I don't drill. And I figured it out in a previous video. So we set this at 98 inches to that bolt. And then I'll put a mark there and we cannot drill any rivets in that spot. Okay, now that we got these all marked, they're ready to drill. Now we gotta find the center of the pipe again. Take the drill bit, and we slide it over. That was the center when I marked them. So we'll double check that we're in the center. Put this on. If you apply just a little bit of pressure, if you're off a little bit, it'll either go one way or the other. This one's sitting right on. Now before we start to drill, I found the center of the tube. I got it sitting in here center, the drill bit's in the center. And we gotta make sure that I-beam is dead in the center. And to do that, if you look down on the end of it, you can kind of line it up with your drill bit. And if you gotta move it, you just take that plastic pipe and you just put a little groove in it. You can get in there and turn it pretty easy. Now we're lined up and we are ready to drill. So you always start in the middle somewhere. You can see this rivet's real close to that attach bracket so I can't go there. With this one, we'll turn it. Drill bit will find the punch. That's our first hole. Pull them off. Go it in. And that's it. Then we just drill all the holes. are drilled, time to put the rivets in. This is what I use. You want to make sure you start in the middle and work your way out. That's pretty much it. It's not too difficult, but it does take a little time. Another little pro tip, when you're laying out your rivet spacing, look at this one on the bottom. That one was set two inches back. So the one above it, you should be four inches back. You should never stack two rivets on top of each other on a round tube. I'm sh it, probably, it probably says that in the manual somewhere, but. Okay, so the drilling and riveting is done on this bar. Now to clean it out, the best thing I found, just take a shot back, stick it in the end, and hit this side with compressed air. That'll usually pull all the metal shavings out. Okay, so two of them down here, they're done, two to go. So the reason I decided to make this video is because I'm guessing this is a pretty nerve wracking part for a lot of people building these. Uh, it's really pretty simple, it just takes a little time. For me, I think it's probably easier to do this than to write a check out to the factory to have them do it for you. I don't know if I'm cheap or I just like to make sure everything about this type of stuff is perfect or as good as I can get it at least. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you learned something, subscribe to the channel for the next video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.